All right, hello, welcome to Real Opinions. And uh, me and Jack are reviewing Monsters Dark Continent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna really briefly uh, actually introduce the film. So it's a sequel to Gareth Edwards' Monsters, which was a, a lo-fi, pr pretty much entirely made by Gareth Edwards Ooh. and a very small crew film about uh, it was like a road movie that just happened to have monsters as aliens as like a backdrop these giant alien creatures but really it was focused on a, a love story between the central uh, two characters and it was it was like a, a surprise hit and it obviously got in the game with Godzilla and now we have the sequel Dark Continent where basically what the producers are doing is they are taking the universe Gareth Edwards created and they are giving each film to a someone who's never directed a feature before, mm. and they're basically saying, like, put your own spin on this. The only condition is that there have to actually be monsters in it, but that they're free to explore this in whatever way they want. And now we have Monsters Dark Continent, which is directed by Tom Green. Jack, what do you think? Made me want to kill myself. Like, <laughs> it sounded like a good idea when you first yeah. said, like, oh, every guy's going to get what, like, first-time director gets a film in this universe, which I... I thought it was quite good. You've cool seen idea. the original. I haven't seen the original, so I thought good it was film. good to go in. It's genuinely good film. And it sounded like a good idea. And then we saw the film. Yeah. So, before we really get into the minutia, this film takes the, the world that he's created and it turns it into a, a war film this time. Yeah. Last time it was a road movie, a love story. This time, a war film. Kind of aping uh, Heart of Darkness. Mm. This is very Heart of Darkness-esque. Very apocalypse now in, in places. But it's not focused on like humans fighting monsters. It's humans fighting this insurgency, and in, I don't know where it's in the Middle East somewhere. It's somewhere Middle East. Yeah, it's, they're fighting this insurgency. Monsters happen to be there. That's the gist. It sucks, like real bad. It just sucks. Okay, so firstly, all the characters that they're, they're these like oorah grunts. Yep. Like their vocabulary doesn't really stretch much beyond hell yeah. That's like that's woo like, woo woo get the monsters. <laughs> and uh, and they they are insufferable. Um, yeah. Bar the yeah. bar the, like the I don't know he's the, one of the sort of officers in command who just says some brilliant things about the statistics of his dildo and so. <laughs> which, you know. uh, so there's white guy with buzz cut times three. There's the two black characters who like guess guess who's gonna die first. There's the uh, there's the translator. Guess who dies first <laughs> with them. And then there's the crazy sergeant, who's basically... Colonel Kurtz. Colonel Kurtz, yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, it's just bad. So, they're, they're your central group of, of people that you're supposed to care about and be interested in, which is difficult. But for the first half of the film, it's just bad. It's funny bad, though. Yeah. I was thinking, when I was sat in the first half, I was thinking, this is the kind of film that I could watch again and laugh at how bad it is. Yeah, because the screen yeah. was insane. And it, <laughs> but then... And the second half, it becomes something else entirely. It's so... Because it, it basically becomes like a student film where it kind of thinks it's so profound while it's basically just going, war is shit. <laughs> but that's basically the extent of it. But it's so unbelievably dull. I have never been... I've never been more bored in a film. It's literally... I, at the halfway point, it must have been halfway. I thought it was the end of the film. I it's like they get to a point where I think like, like uh, yeah, I thought like okay, the film's going to end now. No, because then they walk about the desert for like an hour and a half afterwards. <laughs> they fuck around. They just <laughs> fuck around. Great. <laughs> Literally. So if you could cat categorize like the the second half of the film, it's they walk around, see kids, and then sometimes see dead kids instead. This is really much. And there's slow mo shots of birds every five seconds. And they keep doing this thing where it's like, oh, it's so dark, and so, oh, it's about the dark heart of humanity, where the characters will be like hearing a load of noises, and then they'll just go, ah! They just scream! <laughs> they just scream, and it zooms in on their so teeth. It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurts. I felt traumatized by him. It's like shell shock. <laughs> it's just you, you go from being ridiculously bored to having someone screaming in your <laughs> face, and there's no kind of shit in between. But not only is it really ridiculously boring, but you get the feeling that everyone was in on it because yeah. the guy doing the score just keeps looping the same so boring. <laughs> over and over again as if to highlight the fact that nothing is changing. And then there's another five minute rice cooking montage where they have to learn about the culture of the people that live there. 
<laughs> like you said, like by that point we were so convinced it was nearly done. I just and then it's just like no, we no. need to see them learn about. You just want them dead. They die and end. Really Basically, cool. it starts off with essentially imagine if they made Call of Duty, but with the sole purpose of giving people epilepsy. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's the just, intro. It really fucking it's, hates epilepsy. There's so the, 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 the credits are just, even I felt the, a bit the like- credit, No, I had to look away from the credits, and it's so loud and blaring. <laughs> and then, it's a visual and then, assault on you. Monsters, Dark Continent, and then <laughs> Detroit, in the biggest font, like <laughs> American flag <laughs> font. <laughs> And there's like because they've got all, you've got all these ooh rah men grunts at the centre. There's a lot of like we found very funny at first before at first. it that there's a very <laughs> very pronounced homoerotic thing going it's on. So <laughs> and they're like jumping on they top of each, each other, other five times. And then like the voiceover guy goes like, no one understood. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's very. <laughs> it sounded like broke back now. <laughs> Look, well, you're supposed to be the mad sergeant because yeah. by the end he was saying exactly what I was thinking because he just random randomly runs into a town screaming, "Who the fuck are you people? <laughs> what the fuck am I?" In? And that's how I'm feeling at that point. I want to shoot these people. Because <laughs> you, you forget what the mission. I forgot what the <laughs> like, mission was. Halfway through, and, like, like, when I, I turned to you and went. Because the guy, we have the, we have to finish the mission. And I like, had to turn I to you and went. There was a I turned to you and went. What was the mission? I zoned out. And they still, I didn't know. At the end of it, they, like, the mission <laughs> the was mission. apparently failed, and I didn't know. <laughs> that's just pointless. They didn't even learn about the culture. <laughs> no, no, that's, that, that's the thing, is that it, it seems to pretend it has some kind of meaning, but all it does is the surface of having a meaning. <laughs> so it's like, oh, look, this part they learn about the culture, because you see them talking. You don't hear what they're saying, so you don't know what they're learning. You just, they're learning. And then like, oh look, war's bad because kids. Every fucking corner, there's some solemn-faced kid looking at them gormously. <laughs> every fucking the, turn. The, the most detail the film goes into in the entire thing is that one monologue about the the Sibian, the the dildo machine. Oh shit! Yeah, thinks it's so profound and symbolic, oh. like because it has. We were talking about the apocalypse now esque ness. There's a bit where a guy is just got he's stood against a black background and he's just going like, I'm not afraid of the monsters, you can't scare me. Yeah! <laughs> and that that's the scene. <laughs> we got him to cry now. <laughs> that's so painful. Yeah. For like a two well, minute shot. That's the, because again, deep, emotional driven. Uh, every character cries. Every character cries. Every cry yeah. It's like, oh look, that the leaf just blew past my knee. <laughs> they're, just, they're in tears. Every <laughs> like, they haven't trained. <laughs> no, they haven't been trained. The medic guy, he doesn't even know how to do CPR. When the guy dies, he just he sat against the wall. He just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then breaks down <laughs> weeping. Breaks down crying. We're doing right. spoilers, but. Don't, don't see it. Don't no. I can't believe we haven't seen it. Don't see it. It's the worst film I've seen in the cinema. It's it's not that it's necessarily like appallingly made no, or offensive. It's just it's so boring. It's and so dull. so pretentious. I thought the acting was actually pretty uh, good. Committed. At Commi like, yeah, they they like, would try. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the, I think it's you the, know they were I think trying. It's the direction. Yeah, you know they were trying because they were all afforded a scene where they got to go, Aah! which was acting. They had their acting bit. Put it in perspective, the reason why we're laughing it's not because it's funny. It's because it's to come with t to terms <laughs> yeah. with the situation I, that we've just been. When through. we were in the cinema, like you were sat there, and like I told you, you had that proper Kubrick esque I've, face of just. Yeah. Whereas well, I was laughing, but I wasn't laughing at the film. I was kind of like, it did feel a bit like having cabin fever. I was just yeah, sat next yeah, to you. Yeah. I was just sat next to you going, <laughs> I literally, it's like, I've, I've like, to be honest, it's the closest film that's ever got gotten me to like feeding the futility of life. Because <laughs> we were, yeah, I was just sat there kind of like, every time. I lost sense every of space time. And time. time. <laughs> I thought, like, every time I thought it was going to end, they're going to be like, there's a camp nearby that might have them in. No! No! <laughs> and he's just like, oh, 
well, we could be ending, but here's some shots of horses. Why are the horses? It's just slow mo horse shots. It's not <laughs> deep. <laughs> There's also there's this bit where it's like all oh, allegory, contemporary, where they're sat around and they're going like, why do you keep coming back here? And you go, it's like, to keep my children safe, to protect America. Yeah. And then the guy goes, is that what we're doing here? And you can like, <gasps> yeah, like, like the response is that. Okay, <laughs> we'll do ratings, we'll do ratings. I don't know if you can see where this is going. Uh, now, I, I'm in a pro, I'm in a weird kind of place here because... My least favorite film of the year so far has been a zero, and then after that I gave Seventh Son, which was really bad. But actually, when I compare it to this, it wasn't anywhere near as torturous. It was just yeah. bad. I gave that a one, so I feel like I have to give this less than that, even though I feel like it maybe merits a few points. So I'm gonna. I'm, so what I'm gonna do is, I, what do they call it, where you kind of match someone's bet? Well, anyway, I'm going to do I'm that. I'm sorry, I completely blank there. Whatever that's called, I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to go with 1 out of 10. I'm going for 2 out of 10. But this like, is coming out, that's come from 6 out of 10, Jack. 6 out of 10, Jack. So, in short, don't see it. In short, please, don't give him money. Don't, don't give it anything. I don't know how to wrap it up. That was good. The horror. The horror. The horror. <laughs> the horror. Oh, <laughs>